These logs we're sawing today are some really nasty looking logs. Most people wouldn't pay them any attention. They're all gunked up. They got mold on them. They just what most folks would throw into the burn pile. These logs are kind of odd. In their own way, they've got a very unique story. Almost unbelievable. So look it up if you don't believe me because I looked it up because I didn't believe it either at first. Kentucky coffee bean or American mahogany is in its own way going extinct. The seed pods of these logs have been found in the stomachs of woolly mammoths and mastodons, the old dinosaurs. The trouble is, so they've been around that long. The trouble is that over a period of however many millennia, the animals have, you can call it evolved, you can call it, I don't care what you call it. The animals have gotten to the point where they cannot now digest those seeds. They're actually toxic to modern mammals, so you really don't want to eat the seed pods. Which means that the plant, the tree, can't spread anymore by animals. The only way it can spread is by mother nature with wind, it drops, the seeds drop, maybe the wind moves it a few yards or something like that. So it's naturally becoming selectively extinct. Over the years, these are getting harder and harder to find. Now, I don't advocate going out there and cutting these things down just because you see them but I'm one of those folks where people know what I'm looking for and if they happen to cut them down or they happen to see them like in the case of these nasty logs they call me up and I'll come and buy them. We get maybe a load of these in every four five years. The first load that we got was from a logger who called me up out of the blue and he's told me that it was the first load he'd seen in 40 something years. Now, this particular load I got lucky on, they were slated to go to some other place and the buyer of these logs or the seller of these logs knew I was looking for them and he held them for me. I got about 26 of these little guys. Um, they're pretty small. They're slow to saw. They don't have a lot of yield going to be a typical sawing day for me. It's me and my sawmill, we're out here, the dog's out here, he's laying down, it's hot. This is what we do. We make lumber and I hope you enjoy it. It's pretty relaxing for me, sawing like this and I'll get into a rhythm before too long. It's not going to go real fast because it takes as much time to skin the flitches off these things as it does to actually get down to the camp. But like I say, it's, it's relaxing for me, it's fun, and I enjoy seeing this really cool lumber that comes out of them. So let's, 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 let's turn the camera on the sawmill and let's do a little bit of song. What do you say? Chip has to be in his proper position. This is a supervisory spot. All right, Chip. This is where he watches me do my sawing. He can keep an eye on me.
So here's what this stuff looks like as it's coming off the mill. It's got a very odd look to it. It's got a lot of white sapwood. The heartwood is kind of a root beer color almost. But they're beautiful if you can get somebody to actually recognize them for what they are and bring you some. 